It's like a warm, rosy short, short of a shade. Warm, rosy short of a shade, and I love it. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a fun get ready with me video for y'all today on this look right here. Playing with some newer-ish essence goodies. So I went to Ulta and I got some things and also got some things on Amazon too. So I just kind of like put them all in this bag. So I've got an eyeshadow palette. I've got highlighters. I've got a lip product that I'm very excited about. I've got a glow booster and there's just, you know, there's other goodies in here, fun stuff. So playing with makeup, doing this look together. So if you're new here, my name is Leslie. Welcome, I love to do new at the drugstore videos, get ready with me's, reviews, empties, favorites, just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it. If you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while, I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we are doing this look, playing with some essence goodies, so let's get to it. Okay, so I've already applied my skincare and my SPF, so I'm gonna start with a primer. The Jelly Grip Hydrating Primer, Makeup Gripping and Refreshing, it says. So it looks like it's a more kind of jelly primer. There it goes. Yes, a jelly sort of a texture to it. So I'm gonna concentrate this kind of in the middle of my face because that's usually where the makeup kind of starts to break down, especially my forehead, because I get the most oily there. Definitely feels like a I don't know, more like liquidy. It's not as tacky as other ones that I have tried. I can, t I can see it kind of mixing with my SPF a little bit. And my SPF has been setting for a while now. I'm trying to get it off my hairline. <laughs> the SPF, I'm like, let's just rub that in right there and kind of hide that white cast there. While that's kind of setting, I'm gonna go ahead and use this, the Chili Vanilla color intensifying lip balm just for a little hydration while I'm doing the rest of my makeup. This smells really good. Subtle, but vanilla. Smells good. Smooth, kind of a texture to it. It's nice. Okay, so this has pretty well set down and it does not feel tacky to me. I mean, no more than like a non-grippy, tacky sort of primer. It just feels like more of a primer, like a a more basic primer, but I think it does look nice on the skin and it feels good. It just doesn't have that super tacky sort of feeling to me. For foundation, I'm just gonna use this Purito Sika Clearing BB Cream. Starts out looking so gray on my skin, but then somehow it just blends in and works. I do think this feels like it's kind of gripping to the primer a little bit, because usually it sort of moves a little bit more when I apply it, so I do think it Seems like it's gripping it at least a little bit. I also got this. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it now and I might apply more later. This is the Magic Filter. This is what it looks like. Magic Filter Glow Booster. And it's one of those you can kind of like use it as an all over product, under your foundation, over your foundation. You know, it's like a however you wanna use it type of product. What color did I get? I think I got the lightest shade. Ooh, oh, 10 light. 10 light. So here is a little swatch of it. Pretty subtle looking, but I can definitely see the glow when I kind of turn my hand. So let's put a little bit of this on my cheekbones just for a little added glow. That's pretty. Yeah, I can see the glow. That's pretty. My skin already has a glow just from my skincare and from the BB cream, but I think this does add a, a little something extra. Okay, I applied some eyeshadow primer, set that, applied my brows. I'm gonna tone them down in a second, but they're kind of setting right now. So I'm gonna use this palette, the Chili Vanilli. That's cute, eyeshadow palette. And it looks like a really pretty kind of lighter sort of palette. I need to get it open, because it's got this little plastic covering. It, hang on, I have messed up so many eyeshadows trying to get into these sort of things with the little sticky on the end, but I think they're all okay. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Very, very pretty. So let me get a brush. I think I'm gonna start with this one up here. Let's start with this. This all over my lid and into my crease, kind of a soft peachy sort of shade. Definitely feels like a silky kind of formula. 
My battery is blinking at me, so I'm sure I'm gonna get cut off at some point. I could change the battery, but I like to, I've said this before, I like to let it go all the way to the end just to use up the full battery charge. That doesn't matter. Why, why am I sharing this? Okay, now I'm gonna use this one. These are all kind of lighter colors. I mean, that's kind of the richest color in the palette, but all the rest of them are very kind of subtle. So I actually brought in a couple of my older palettes of theirs that I could, well, they're not like brand new palettes, but they're not super old, um, that I could kind of deepen up this eye look because these are all just so light and soft. Like soft meaning not intense. Like all of these are, you know, light shades. So yeah, all very light. Let's look at the metallics. These look really pretty. Ooh, that one. Ooh, that is really pretty. Um, let me get a little bit from, let's see. I grabbed, yeah, let's use this. The Bloom Bloom, no, Bloom Baby Bloom palette. I'm gonna get that one right there and a smaller brush and just put a little bit of this in my outer corner. Maybe mix it with a little bit of that one next to it, these two. Just for a little added, I don't know, shape to the eyes. I'm gonna use this really pretty copper right in the middle of my lid. Not with any setting spray. Kinda wanna keep it a little bit more soft. Ooh, it builds on itself though, even without setting spray. There's no mirror in here, but that's, you know, that's not a make it or break it. I'd rather have more shadows or a better quality than a mirror for sure. I'm blending this out to the edges. This does seem like it blends away a little bit and I do have fallout, but it just seems like kind of a soft, silky sort of formula. So, you know, it's fine. Not the best formula I've ever used, but not bad. I'm gonna use this one right here with some setting spray. This is pretty, kind of an icy sort of golden shade. Okay, so I went to look up some info about the next product I'm gonna use, but I thought I'd share some more info on this. It says, say goodbye to dull makeup days with this jelly foundation. What? I'm guessing jelly foundation primer? That not only hydrates, but also grips onto your makeup for a flawless, long-lasting finish. Uh, get ready to slay all day with a radiant, dewy look. Let's see. Hydrating primer, yeah, it says for a fresh natural look or you, if you need a reliable primer for all day wear, this jelly primer has got you covered. So it seems like kind of more of a, you know, basic but help your makeup last longer, which is usually what a primer helps do. So like hydrating, help your makeup last longer sort of primer. Okay, then next up I got a potted primer. It's been a while since I've used a potted primer like really consistently, but this is the Stay and Play Gel Eyeliner Pot and it says waterproof and long lasting. Um, it says get ready for highly pigmented color intensity and in just one swipe. Available in black and brown. I got the brown shade. It says waterproof and long lasting formula, no smudging, no budging, just fierce, flawless eyeliner that stays put all day long. My little sticker got a little off, so I don't know what happened there, but it got a little off. So I'm going to get a, oh, I have to open it. I'm gonna get a brush and start to apply this. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Looks like a nice chocolatey kind of brown. And I'm just gonna use a small eyeliner brush. I, did I say eye, eyeliner? Yeah, eyeliner brush. I don't know what I said, but this is what I'm using. Seems really nice. Nice gel formula. It's not tugging or dragging and has good pigmentation too. I like the color of the brown too. This is really pretty. I like that it has a little bit of a warmth to the chocolatey brownness. I think that just really made my blue eyes pop, like something about the warmth of the color. And I like that formula. Seems nice. Okay, my battery did end up dying. So I changed that. I applied mascara. And what else did I do? Mascara and concealer. And now I'm adding a little bit more concealer, but I wanted to say, I do feel like all of my uh, face products are applying really nicely over that primer. Like I feel like my skin is smooth. So I, I'm liking that. 
I can, I feel like I can tell the difference. Okay, I set my T-zone with the Ben Nye Luxury Powder. Now I'm gonna use the Essence Keep It Covered Powder Long Wear um, in 10 Fair. I'm gonna set the rest of my face with this, just really lightly. Okay, I applied a little bit of this Moira Statement Shimmer Liner in Metallic Brown, kind of to the lower half, third of my lower lash line, and then CoverGirl Clump Crusher to my lower lashes, and kind of the edges of my upper lashes. I'm excited about these. The Blush Crush, and I got the shade Deep Rose and Pink Pop. These both look like pretty rich shades, but those are the ones that I could find in store. So I was in store to purchase, so I went ahead and got them. So I am going to use this one first, Deep Rose, kind of as a blush, but also a bronzer, because it looks like, let's do a little swatch. Let's look a little swatch. Yeah, it looks like kind of a, a warm, rosy shade. So I thought it would work kind of well for what I was thinking. Ooh, this is pretty. I really like this color. Yeah, it's like a warm, rosy short, short of a shade. Warm, rosy short of a shade, and I love it. <laughs> that is really pretty. Now let's use the bright one, Pink Pop. This looks cute. Oh, it has a glow. Which, yeah, if I look at it in the pan, definitely looks like it has a glow. So let's apply this for a little bit of pinky glow. And I'm being pretty light-handed with these so that I don't, you know, go over the top with them. Well, I probably still will, but I'd like to build up to that. Just going along the edges, but oh my goodness. I love that. I think that's such a pretty shade. It blended well. I love the glow to it. I love the pinky color. Ooh, I'm a fan. I like that a lot. And they're affordable, which is so fun. Okay, I got a couple of these. The Baby Got Glow Hi No, what? Baby Got Glow <laughs> Liquid Highlighters. And I got Sassy and Silk and Rose and Shine. Rose and Shine. I love a pinky highlighter, um, but this one looks like it could be a little bit deep. Now let's see if this is like the blushes where it just comes up through one little opening rather than several. Yeah, it looks like it. So I'm being very careful. Where is the product? I'm afraid. I'm scared. Okay, yes, it comes up through one little opening. I wish it had multiple dots. So it's the same kind of packaging as the blushes like this, which is definitely not my favorite. But I mean, whatever. If the product inside is good, you know, you can make it work. Okay, so there is the rosy shade. That is really pretty. But that's gonna be a little bit deep for me to use as a cheek highlighter. I could use it as a blush topper. But let's see what the other one looks like. That got a little aggressive. Oops, I got too much product. Okay, so this one looks like a really pretty golden shade. Oh, this one's more, uh, it's a little more subtle. And honestly, both of them are a little bit deep for me. So I think I'm gonna go with the golden one and I'm gonna get some more product up in the packaging. Oh man, see, it just, it's almost like you have to kind of Press it and then get it up onto the applicator, but I'll just use my finger. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. It looks so different on my cheeks. Oh, that really, that works. That definitely works. Wow. Doesn't it look so much deeper in the swatch on my hand, like side by side? Maybe it's because of the other products I'm wearing on my face or just compared to the deeper, brighter blush, I don't know, but that's pretty. I really like that. I could have used more of this, but I wanted to play with those. So I really like that cheek combo. Okay, and then last up for lips. So I did get this and I tried this um, yesterday and I really liked this. It's the What The Fake Extreme Plumping Lip Filler and it says with black pepper oil. And this is the shade, oh, what is this one called? I don't know, but it's this one. It's like the deeper one. So it goes on looking like kind of a dark, um, 
berry, like a rich, deep berry color, and it kind of stains the lips. It has a little bit of a plumping sensation, but it's not, even though it says extreme, I didn't find it to be super extreme, but I applied it more lightly because I didn't want it super, super deep on my lips, but I liked how it stained, and as far as plumping, maybe I could see a little something, but like nothing, you know, super amazing or major. So, let's finish off with lip. I'll go along the edges of my lips and then I'm going to use a little bit of Maybelline Dusty Rose just for a little bit of shape. I got a couple of these. These are the Slim Stick 6 Hour Long Lasting Lipsticks. So I got two different shades of these. First one I got is Baby Got Blush. Let's see. Oh, it's just a you twist it up kind of packaging. I love that color. That is one of my go-to kind of lip colors. And when you turn it, it will go back down in the packaging. Um, wow, that is very nice. And then this one is Velvet Punch. Velvet Punch, ooh, pretty. A Little bit kind of deeper, like a deep rose. I would describe that one as. I'm gonna use this one. This looks beautiful. Kind of like a creamy matte is how it feels to me. Okay, so this has been on my lips for a little bit. I was kind of seeing if it was gonna set down or anything, but no, I mean, it's really kind of stayed as that just like really comfortable creamy matte kind of a formula, and I really, really like that. I like the formula, I like the packaging, easy to apply, and I love this color so much. Okay, so here is the finished look. I really like how this all came together. So final thoughts, let's go through. I like this. I do think all of my foundation and face products really applied nicely, so I definitely like this. I'm not a huge primer person, but as far as primers go, that one seems really nice. This is really pretty. Um, I think for you know what it is, it looks pretty. It's more on the subtle side, but you know you don't always want like a super intense sort of highlighter, just that natural sort of glow. I think it's really pretty. This is nice and hydrating. I like the little bit of um, staining and flush it kind of gives to the lips. This seems really nice. It applied nicely. I love the kind of warm chocolatey brown color. Big fan of this. Um, the highlighters, these seem really nice too. And actually, I mean, I'm glad that this one ended up working because I thought it was just gonna, you know, both of them would be a little bit too deep for me, but I do think that one works and I will use this as more of a blush topper. So fan of these two, don't love the packaging though. So kind of gotta, you know, work with that a little bit. This seems pretty fun. I mean, I like it for what it is. It's not something I'm gonna reach for a ton, but for what it is, I think it's nice. I think this is pretty but it's just all very light. I wish it had a little bit more depth to it. Kind of, you know, it's just a lot of light colors. So I would have to keep pairing this with other things. You know what I mean? But I do think it's pretty, you know, for the colors that are in there. I like the end look I ended up coming up with. These are beautiful. I always pretty much love Essence blushes and I'm excited about these. I really like both of these shades. These are beautiful and I am in love with these. Totally in love with these. I absolutely adore this color. Like this, I feel like is just gonna be a go-to. I'm impressed with these products. Okay, so that wraps up this video. So hope that you really enjoyed it. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you think about these products. If you tried them out, what are your thoughts on them? I would love to hear that. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.